Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a cold banker, Dean Hopper Realtor. Well, today I'm at the very quiet and secluded acre community of Cordelia Ranch in the Texas Hill Country, just off Highway 46. This house is beautiful. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath house with just over 4,300 square feet and built in 2009. Let's go check it out. Now, I really like this community because it does give you access to Bernie just by going down Fair Oaks Road. And this is off of Bornheim, gives you the easiest access, but this is such a quiet and peaceful community. Uh, one thing that sets it apart is all the homes are set back further than most communities. So you have a long driveway and uh, houses further back on the property, just giving you a little more privacy and uh, but you still have great access to everything this is a large community so and um, if you do live in this community it does provide access to the guadalupe river so uh, yeah let's head on inside and check out this gorgeous home now this is on um, this entrance is on the side of the house but it is a super cool entrance you don't see too many like uh little round tor turret entrances but a beautiful door we do have our house greeter right at the entrance and i love this hallway coming down so right when you come in you do have your formal dining room space I'm loving this uh the flooring they have And also right when you come in, you've got your uh, wine storage area and lots of arches. And talk about having your butler's pantry. This is impressive. And I like how they got it all displayed. This You can tell they like to entertain. Someone is currently living in this house, so I'm going to do my best to respect their privacy. But check this out. You're going to have no problem getting all of your prep stuff done ready to bring back out. I'm gonna show you the laundry room and the garage in a second, but I do wanna show you off this kitchen. As you come out and around, you have a beautiful kitchen, love the granite. You know, I said lots of cabinet space in here. You gotta show off the sink. So definitely not the 50-50 sink. You've got a beautiful porcelain sink and the view from the Kitchen area, you've got a nice breakfast nook. And uh, so gorgeous Gen Air cooktop, six burner, gas community. And the, some of these appliances do, are gonna be remaining. I don't know about that LG uh, refrigerator. We'd always have to ask. But yeah, now we'll go ahead and show you the laundry room. Now this is a serious laundry room because you've got your sink, your washer and dryer space, plenty of stuff to hang up. And here's where it says all appliances remain. So very nice. So you've got your extra refrigerator set up. And like I said, we've already shown some of those pantry stuff. Oh, that's just another coat closet. But let me show off this garage because that is an impressive garage back here as well. All right, just a few steps up and you can see a big, beautiful three car garage with lots of storage space. And pretty much everything here leads into, so you got more storage space and everything's got doors opening up to the uh, pool area. That's not very important. If you've got a beautiful outdoor entertainment area, well, you want easy access to it. All right, let's keep exploring this main living space. All right, this is a two-story house and loving how much space you have underneath this countertop. But arches are a common theme throughout this house. Does have a gorgeous fireplace. 
So right now they got a nice work of art on it, but it's easily could be a good place for a TV. But you can tell they use this house, this room for entertaining and the lost art of conversation. Now this is a beautiful community. They even have their own magazine that comes out uh, routinely. So it's kind of neat to have such amenities. Speaking of amenities, let's check out this pool. They do have a nice park here in this community, but the big thing is having private access to the Guadalupe, well, community access to it. So you do have a nice outdoor covered entertainment area. They got speakers out here already. And this is on a 2.22 acre lot. So what we see fenced in here is just where they've got it fenced in because they got pets and a dog. But a beautiful pool. Like you said, that goes, the entrance to the house goes to the garage. That, and this is the kitchen area, main living space. So, and that other corner side goes to the owner suite. So I see they turned the hot tub on to showcase it. It's gonna be a little warm today. We're supposed to be up around 95 today. It's uh, as I'm filming it, we are 31 August, 2021. But I do like this fireplace outside because we do have actually cool nights in Texas, uh, especially starting in October, November, and then the whole winter is actually really nice to be outside. Oh, cute little puppy. All right, beautiful pool. And here's a back side of the house look. All right, I'm not gonna walk the whole property because you have two acres, that's a, that's a lot. All right, let's head on back inside. Like I said, we do have multiple doors going in, but I know this one's unlocked, so that's what I'm gonna go with. All right. Now this house is a two-story house. Oh, I wanna show you the lower front balcony. Like I said, I came in the side door because this is traditionally gonna be the front of the house. But you can tell they've got it set up as a sitting area to hang out. Perfect coffee seat sit in place. They got the speakers up there. Let me just show you how quiet it is right now out here. Now it's nice. It is so quiet in this community. And this is not a bad place just kind of be sitting out here, enjoying your coffee and looking out over the beautiful Texas Hill Country. All right, now we're gonna head upstairs because the ceiling on that balcony is another balcony and I love upstairs balconies. Don't wanna show their family pictures. All right, as you come upstairs, you do have this big game room section I mean, you can do all sorts of things. And according to the note, this giant TV comes with the house. So it's the 86 inch TV and it is breathtaking. This house already has the speakers in for a five point, uh, looks like five point surround system. But I love how this decorated, but I was talking about that upstairs balcony. Check this out. You thought the view from below was nice? Look at this one. That's nice. Like I said, that's why people want to live in the Texas Hill Country because of views like this. And once again, just a really nice covered area with the built-in speakers again. Let's go check out. We do have some extra rooms out here. 
<laughs> I like this guy's sense of humor. Uh, teenager's room, caution. So of course you've got to have your video game console set up. Definitely dig the light fan combo. And they've got their own full bathroom. And a nice walk-in closet. And a gorgeous shower with the step and the tile going almost all the way to the top. All right, that's just gonna be a storage closet. And that's gonna be to your Texas basement where you need, if you need some additional storage, you can get into there. All right, let's head over to this wing of the upstairs. Perfect little study nook if you wanted to use it. There's another office that this is what he's using it for. So plenty of space in the office. Of course, you gotta have a little TV and your attic access. And then we still have another bedroom up here. They got the it, they got the blinds shut, so it's a little dark. Well, let's see the closet space. Oh, pretty good sized closet space in here. All right, the bathroom that this the office and this room has access to is pretty nice for a guest bathroom. You got this little makeup area, full countertop, full height countertops there. And then a beautiful bath shower combo. Love the little nooks that they have in this house. All right, let's head back downstairs. Well, like I said, showing off some of these light fixtures. It's kind of neat. All right, just came back down the stairs and I haven't mentioned this powder room here yet. This is just a beautifully done powder room. Perfect because if you have a house like this, you want to entertain and you need, you need to use the facilities sometimes. Okay, back in the main area. I just love the arches in this walkway. All right, the owner suite is to our right. We'll get to that in a second because we have another bedroom back here. So, Got the bunk beds already set up. And this is really neat because you've got a Murphy bed. I've not seen a Murphy bed in a long time, but this is a beautifully done one. So this is a true flex room. You can use it as a bedroom, an office, a guest bedroom, whenever you have guests in. So it's very neat to have that option. Oop, didn't get this light turned on earlier. All right, so we got another full bathroom with another mud inset shower beautiful so this room like i said has its own bathroom on it and a good size walk-in closet with lots of storage all right okay. oh i haven't mentioned the price um as of late august 2021 the asking price is 1.595 So it's like, here's the owner suite, nice can lighting, plenty of space. They even got a little space for a little sitting area. Coming into the en suite, we do have dual closets. So it's going to be a his closet and then possibly a hers closet. Lots of shoe storage space and uh, lots of hanging space up here too. A good size soaking tub and then we got the different vanities we do have dual vanities and uh, this door here leads right out to the pool area that I've kind of mentioned this earlier your water closet and then this being the owner suite it has the wraparound shower 
So now you've got the big rain shower head and the other shower and the wand. So you've got all the bells and whistles in this shower. Let's do one last look around of the main living area. Like I said, beautiful kitchen and lots of space in here with your fireplace. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this absolutely beautiful Texas Hill Country house in Cordelia Ranch. And I love this house, it's beautiful. And remember, it was built in 2009 by Adam Michael. And if you're looking for more information, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. I'd love to set up a Zoom meeting to find out what your needs are. I am doing this video for an out-of-state client, but uh, I always wanna add a little extra in it just in case he passes on it. This house gets more publicity as well. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Uh, if you like these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share them with your friends. All right, talk to you soon. Take care, bye. All right, doing the house tour, I did mention that you do have Guadalupe access from uh, this community. Well, it turns out that this is just a 10 minute walk from the house I just videoed. So I was talking to the owner of the house a little bit and get some other great information like um, if your lot's big enough you can have horses out here they have a beautiful clubhouse they have tons of events now being a member of the club is a little is a, an additional cost but having access to this guadalupe river is wonderful um i've done a previous video of the guadalupe river state park now that's just a probably about an eight minute drive from here but if you were to put your kayaks into the river you're probably looking at a good four hour paddle to get to the Guadalupe River State Park now it might sound like a lot but it's all going downhill and it's really nice to have a couple of uh, your friends together and just put in your kayaks right here and then have a pullout spot at a park at a state park to where it's just super easy but uh yeah this is just gorgeous for especially if you've got kids that you want to have a little swimming hole this is perfect water to go swimming in you've got a little splash area and then you can see it gets a little deeper back that away i am really surprised there's not more people out here because it is just gorgeous. And having this at your fingertips, just a 10 minute walk from that house, it's really impressive. All right, this community does have a lot going for it. I'm quite impressed with it. If you're wanting to be close to shopping and all the mainstream stuff, you're still only about a 22 minute drive, just going down, uh, Bornheim, uh, it turns into Fair Oaks Road, and that gets you to the La Quintera and the Rim, everything there, in about 20 minutes. So that's easy peasy in this area. So you're not so far out that you can't get to stuff, but you're definitely far enough out that you feel um, like you're out in the Texas Hill Country because you are. This is the Texas Hill Country. This is what it's all about. And I know my client who I'm doing this video for, he is into uh, cross country, I mean like those long distance bicycle rides. He said there's a whole bunch of those guys that live in this community. And I think there's, uh, there's miles and miles of roads you can go riding on in this community while not even leaving the community, not to mention anything else. All right, that's going to wrap it for now. And uh, I appreciate who's ever stuck around on this video long enough to watch this bonus vi portion. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching and uh, keep sharing with your friends. Take care now. Bye. All right, well, I said I was done, but there's also a beautiful clubhouse to include a giant swimming pool 
and a beautiful golf course at this community. Now, the being a member of the club is going to be additional fees compared to just the regular HOAs, but it is so nice out here. So if you're looking for a place to retire, and you can see some of the golf course looks like a little practice green out there, but uh, there's people in the golf carts. Um, I didn't go all the way up. The main clubhouse is right up there with just a lot of neat stuff in it. This is just a big, beautiful Texas Hill Country community with a lot to offer. All right, take care now.